Hey guys, today a tip in quite frankly how to get skin detail back. Now we all know this look, right? The over retouched Barbie look. The skin is actually glowing, it's terrible. However, sometimes you don't have a choice. Let's say you're shooting a senior or a model that has really bad skin. You can choose to leave the skin the way it is, looking ugly, or you can over smoothen the skin. But when you end up with something like this, it's still not perfect, right? Because it's glowing and it looks terrible. So how do you get detail back in the skin? Now a few years ago it was very popular to use this over blurred skin detail. Um, so let's say you have a very difficult retouch on your hard drive and you just hate the way the skin looks and you don't want to do the retouch all over again. You can also use this tip. And of course nowadays again if you have a model with really bad skin use this technique and you get a really beautiful image. The first thing you always do is go to layer and add a new layer. Now you have a mode here and what I choose is soft light. Now you get an extra option, fill with soft light neutral gray. Okay, press fill, press OK. Now what I actually have is a neutral gray layer over my original image that does absolutely nothing. The fun part about this layer is that I can now add stuff to this layer that will actually work on my main layer. In other words, it's like an overlay. So the first thing I have to do is get some of the glow gone. So what I do is filter, go to noise, add noise. And I just play a little bit around with the noise. So let's say a little bit too much. There we go. Press OK. Now this look might draw some attention to you because a few years ago this was very popular with magazines. They would clone out the skin they would put some noise over there, uh, of course, get the eyes and the mouth back again, and this was one of the looks. And the reason they did it is because they over smoothened the skin, it started to glow, and by adding a little bit of noise, as you can see here, you take away the nasty glow. And it looks a little bit better. But we're in 2014, and we want to get a little bit better even. So there we go. The first thing we have to do is make sure that you make the noise a little bit bigger because pores in the human skin are a little bit bigger, of course, than what you see here. Now, how do you make noise bigger? Well, there's no option in Photoshop to get bigger noise. So what you actually have to do is be a little bit creative. Go into Filter, go into Blur, Gaussian, and now what you actually do, oh, this is actually pretty good, is you make the noise a little bit bigger. So there we go before and after. Now we want some three-dimensionality of course and there's also a filter in Photoshop for that. You go into filter, stylize and you choose emboss. Now I'll overdo it a little bit. Normally I will use a height of one but for video I will do it on two so you can actually see it a little bit better. There we go. Press OK. Now what you actually see is that we have three-dimensionality, because three-dimensionality is determined by shadow and highlight. So this is before, and this is with the three-dimensionality added. Use your opacity slider to make the effect a little bit less. There we go. And the only thing you now have to do is go to Layer, Layer Mask, Hide All. You see a black piece of paper, meaning if you take a brush with white, you can actually paint the effect in on the areas you want. Start with your opacity on 100%, paint it everywhere, except of course on the mouth and the eyes. There we go. And now in some areas, especially the areas that are a little bit out of focus, you don't want this much skin detail, of course also not on the sides of her nose. So now you change back to a black brush, you lower the opacity, and you actually paint away some of the detail and create something that looks a little bit more natural. There we go. And this is the glowy ugly skin. And here we have the detail back. I'll raise the opacity a little bit so you can also see it on our smaller resolution on YouTube. 
this is before, glowing skin, very ugly and there we go, now we have detail back and of course again lower the opacity to your taste and if you're looking at full HD now you can see the skin detail coming back there we go so this is my tip, you can use it on your old retouches and you don't have to do the whole retouch again only to get detail back in the skin or you can use it on a model that has really bad skin and there's no other option than to over smoothen it this way you can get some skin detail back